coming up on today's episode of Airborne Next Gen. Merlin Lab's autonomous flight system clears milestone hurdle. Archer preps for first flight test of midnight EVTOL. And Jetson 1 selects ParaZero for parachute system. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Next Gen Program, a weekly news program covering the next generation of flight. From electric power to vertical lift, uncrewed vehicles, and everything in between. Let's get into today's stories. Merlin Autonomous Flight System Clears Milestone Hurdle the FAA has awarded Merlin a $1 million contract for a purpose of demonstrating the capabilities of its Merlin pilot product along Alaskan air routes, albeit under the watchful eyes of onboard safety pilots. Merlin announced that the Civil Aviation Authority of New Zealand had concluded its review of the company's first stage of involvement and approved a plan for software aspects of certification. The approvals occasioned significant advancements along the Merlin pilot system's path to validation and certification. Comprising four distinct phases, the QECAA certification process ensures safety critical software achieves in air operability. Having now surmounted the first of the four phases, the Merlin Pilot System CAA Supplemental Type Certificate by virtue of the Bilateral Aviation Safety Agreement is on a concurrent validation track with the US FAA. To date, Merlin Labs' Merlin Pilot is the only takeoff to touch down aircraft automation system to achieve SOI-1. The stage approval greenlights the development of the system's flight control software and lays the groundwork for Merlin Pilot to earn the distinction of being the first aircraft automation system validated by the FAA. Granted only two short years after the company's initial PSCP was accepted in quarter 1, 2022, the May 15th approval underscores Merlin's ambitious certification and regulatory cadence. And after the break, Red Cat sees Ukrainian order for 200 FPV racing drones. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 Remote Pilot Certificate or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. Now for some shorter stories in our Next Gen Minute. Red Cat sees Ukrainian order for 200 FPV racing drones. Red Cat Holdings has announced its intent to deliver 200 long-range high-speed FPV drones to Ukrainian units in June, further reinforcing the utility of the type in military service. The model to be delivered will be the firm's Teal 2, a compact little sprinter with first-person controls and high-tech flare imaging. The continued use of drones both civilian and military has come to emphasize a few consistent features for a successful ISR platform. Easy handling, first-person pilotage, good battery life, robust construction, and detailed sensors. NASA to host Unidentified Anomalous Phenomena Meeting NASA announced it will hold a public meeting during which the agency's independent study team will categorize and evaluate data pertaining to unidentified anomalous phenomena, a neologism coined to replace the more broadly known and accurate unidentified flying object. The meeting, to be held Wednesday, May 31, 2023 at 10.30 EDT, will conclude with a media teleconference. Flight safety tapped for engineering simulator and curriculum for Lilium Jet. Lilium has partnered with Flight Safety International to provide training on its upcoming eVTOL jet, selecting the enterprise as the sole developer and provider for such services. Flight Safety will one day offer, quote, industry-leading immersive and mixed reality simulators for training, end quote, with an early flight simulator representative of the Lilium jet's cockpit for use and development. The engineering-oriented simulator, or eSIM, will be integrated into Lilium's ground-based aircraft systems integration laboratory and used to assist in testing and certification of the jet. Lee Enterprises Consulting joins Forever Flight Alliance. 
Lee Enterprises Consulting announced it has joined the Forever Flight Alliance, a joint undertaking of the Lindbergh and XPRIZE Foundations, which seeks to, quote, accelerate pathways to net zero carbon aviation, hasten the advent of true zero carbon flight, improve aviation's energy efficiency while reducing its noise footprint, convene solution seekers across multiple disciplines, industries, and nations, and propose incentive prizes to accelerate transformational breakthroughs, end quote. LEC will work with the FFA for the purpose of identifying key barriers to the production, scaling, and use of SAF. Well, that was our Next Gen Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Archer preps for first flight test of Midnight EVTOL. Archer Aviation's EVTOL, dubbed Midnight, had recently completed a six-week series of tests in RUAG's large subsonic wind tunnel in Emmen, Switzerland. On May 11th, the company set forth it had completed final assembly of the first full-scale midnight aircraft and shipped the machine from Archer's Palo Alto facility to its Salinas flight test installation, where a ground testing campaign is to be presently embarked upon. Ground testing is slated to comprise in part comprehensive evaluations of Midnight's airframe, particularly its undercarriage, wheel brakes and taxi dynamics, run-ups of its electric power plants, and assessments of the mechanisms by which subject power plants articulate. In the event Midnight's ground performance conforms to expectations, Archer will commence flight testing the aircraft in summer 2023. By dint of vigorous intracompany testing programs, Archer seeks to thoroughly vet Midnight in advance of FAA 4-credit certification testing, which the eBTOL maker hopes to see underway in early 2024. Quote, Our strategy with this aircraft is to allow Archer to fly many of the same test points that will be needed during piloted flight testing in order to further validate the aircraft before the FAA witnesses, a customary practice in many aircraft certification programs. End quote. And after these messages, Jetson 1 selects Para Zero for parachute system. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit flyskyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. Jetson 1 selects Para Zero for parachute system. Jetson has announced the selection of Para Zero's Safe Air Parachute Recovery System for their One, the firm's single-person electric VTOL aircraft. The company has captured attention with a handful of adverts that show a more sporty, personal approach to eVTOL design, less focused on utilitarian cargo carriage, and more on the visceral excitement of a flying sports car. Just as general aviation aircraft have seen success in courting a wider customer base with a deployable airframe parachute, the One's incorporation of a comprehensive safety system should help to open up an even wider swath of prospective pilots. It will be interesting to see how ParaZero ensures parachute functionality on the Jetson's usual flight envelope. Unlike other aircraft, the One is best enjoyed at low altitudes, where the rush of passing scenery seems faster and more thrilling than loafing about a few thousand feet up. Quote, introducing and incorporating the best possible safety technology is high on Jetson's development priorities and was one of the reasons for selecting ParaZero and their patented parachute deployment technology into the Jetson 1. ParaZero solutions can enable the possibility of the safest and most optimal flight envelope for our customers, end quote. However they're going to get it done, both ParaZero and Jetson seem very confident that a low-altitude recovery system is completely doable. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching!